Here's what you need to remember, the plane is old but with its state-of-the-art APG-83 SABR radars, it can continue to dominate the skies. There's little question that the SABR radar significantly improves the F-16's effectiveness as it moves towards the final third of service life in the mid-21st century. The Agile F-16 Fighting Falcon is the most numerous jet in military service today and boasts a superb combat record. F-16 Fighting Falcon plan to remain in U.S. military service through 2048 will need to evolve to keep its edge in a world where stealth fighters, long-range missiles, and newer 4.5-generation fighters with more powerful sensors are proliferating. A major step towards that evolution occurred on January 9, when a facility in Baltimore completed installation of powerful new and slash APG-83 Scalable Agile Beam Radars SABR, to fit inside the nose cones of 72 National Guard F-16CS. The APG-83 is 85% based on the APG-81 radar installed in brand new F-35 stealth fighters, but scaled down for affordability and compatibility with the F-16. Unlike the APG-68 Pulse Doppler radars being replaced, the SABR is an active electronically scanned array radar boasting superior resolution, jam resistance, and stealth versus adversary radars. It has a maximum theoretical range of 230 miles, up from 184 miles, and can also perform wide area surface scans. The U.S. Air Force has already ordered at least 372 more APG-83s for $1 billion, $2.7 million each, to upgrade additional F-16 squadrons. The new radars will also be installed on F-16s in Bahrain, Greece, Indonesia, Korea, Morocco, Singapore, and especially Taiwan, and have been proposed for installation on B-1 and B-52 bombers and F-A-18C-D Hornet fighters. The Cruise Missile Threat As air battles have historically been won by the side that detects and engages its opponent first. The radars will significantly improve an F-16's lethality and survivability versus cutting-edge 4.5-generation fighters like the Su-35 and J-11D that boast their own powerful sensors. But when the U.S. military's Northern Command issued a joint emergent operational need for the radars, it had a specific threat in mind, long-range land attack cruise missiles approaching via an Arctic vector.